I'm Hilary Scott, and you're in my home at Nine Browning Road in Somerville. People uh, have pegged me as a whimsical sculptor. I enjoy faces. I enjoy making large things. I think of myself as a problem solver. And so I find a material and think, well, what can I do with this? And that leads to a piece. Um, that often is what happens with clients. They say, can you do this? Or have you ever done this? And I say, well, no, but I don't see why not. People come to me for something that is imaginative, is whimsical, is light, uh, bright and colorful, um, and something they can't find anyplace else. I firmly believed that the greatest gift you could give a child was a library. You can surround them with books. So in every house I've ever been in in Somerville, I've first put in bookshelves and a library. Um, and a library, hopefully, that sparks the imagination. So there's not just books, but there's items that a child might be interested in, or even an adult. Um, this house comes with a three-season porch. And the kids said, could this be Africa? And I thought, that's a great idea. So uh, I set about, well, creating an environment that might be reflective of, uh, of an African explorer. Um, and plus, you can close off the doors, and there's a fog machine so that it can fog up. And so uh, suddenly, when you get six little kids in there, and they're all running back and forth um, in the fog, it's really cool. What I enjoy about open studios is that people walk in not knowing what to expect. It's not a gallery situation. Uh, they're walking into my home. And my response is, uh, if they at all seem interested in creating, then uh, my response is, yes, you can do this. Let's talk about materials, which is something that's unique about an open studios environment, where you get to go behind the scenes. Parents who come uh, with their children, and these are not people that need me to build multi-thousand dollar sculptures. They want to be able to, and I want them to be able to engage with their children just like I engage with mine. You know, let's build it together. Or even better, and you know, what my dad said to me when I showed him the giant G.I. Joe headquarters that came out by Hasbro in 1972, and I absolutely desperately had to have it, and he kind of looked at it, he was very good about it, and uh, he felt the vinyl sides, and he looked at the little plastic uh, searchlight, and he said, we can do it better. I mean, what was wonderful about my dad is that I had a great deal of difficulty in the beginning learning to read. I'm a dyslexic and I still struggle, struggle with that. But I loved the pictures that were on the covers of the books my sister was reading. And I said, well, can we, can I, how do we do that? And he said, well, they use a large format camera for that kind of thing, Hillary. Now he could have said, I think you should probably try to sound out those words yourself. But he didn't do that. He said, why don't we set up a tabletop right here in the studio and you can do that yourself and you can give it a shot, taking control of a situation. Um, you know, a great thing to tell a, a kid who might be having difficulty learning to read. I got into sculpture because I had children and I was teaching, but children don't necessarily like the things that teachers have to do at home. You know, they don't like people being tied to a computer. So I decided, well, let's try to interact in a way that is uh, dynamic. Let's start making things for them. It just kind of began to snowball. And the more you begin, or at least the more I begin to externalize my imagination, the more comfortable I become in my surroundings because my exterior surroundings reflect my interior landscape.